So predominantly the research that we're looking at is looking at vascular function and we're interested in how it changes with health, with disease and how exercise training can make arteries healthier with the, the long term aim of helping to reduce cardiovascular disease. We do this research in a lot of different groups really, so we, we look at healthy young people, we look at children, we look at people with obesity, I look at people with cardiovascular disease and the idea is we're trying to understand what it is about exercise training that's reducing the likelihood of people getting heart attacks and strokes and we think it's to do with how the arteries get healthier with exercise training so we're really interested in digging down into understanding what it is about exercise that's making arteries healthier and reducing the risk of future events. One of the things our group has done is we've looked at the, the different blood flow patterns to see what influence that has and we've, we've started to look how that, that changes. We've, we've certainly seen big improvements in vascular function in, in children with obesity, we've seen it in different cardiovascular disease groups. We use ultrasound, um, so that's the same technology you use to scan pregnant women. But we're looking at the arteries, um, we do a test called flow mediated dilatation, or FMD for short, which gives us a, an index or an idea of how healthy the arteries are, so we can look at that before and after a training intervention. So this is the analysis of the data that we collect from an FMD test. So we have the artery diameter along here and we have the blood flow along the bottom. So here we have our resting measurement. So if we, we um, analyze this, we have one minute rest. This is the five minute period when the cuff is inflated so no blood is getting past the artery at this point into the lower arm. When we release the cuff, you can see here there's a very large increase in flow and that's stimulating the artery to release this substance and in response the artery will then relax and get bigger so we can see this increase in diameter. So if we calculate this, our software, our custom designed software will automatically calculate the percent increase from baseline to the peak diameter and that's our test of artery health. It's a substance called nitric oxide and as well as causing the artery to dilate, it protects against the process of atherosclerosis, so that's how your arteries get harder and it's the first step in developing these cardiovascular diseases. So if you have a healthy artery, you have a lot of nitric oxide and it will relax a lot, so it will get a lot bigger. But unhealthy, unhealthy arteries sort of have less of this nitric oxide, so they dilate less. Um, and what we can see is if we exercise training, we can improve this function. We teach the students how to do this ultrasound testing, they have a go at it. And then also a lot of our major project students get involved in this side of things too, so they get to use this, this equipment and these techniques in, um, in their third year projects. We've got an amazing group of people, we've got some incredible facilities, um, I really can't think of a better place I'd, I'd like to work, it's just, and, and it crosses a broad spectrum of interests in the cardiovascular group, so some great collaboration going on, looking at the interaction between the cardiac and the vascular side, looking at lots of different groups, so yeah, it's an amazing place to work.